watching Innovative Amazing Science with Sunaina. I believe that you are doing great, so am I. Today, I am not going to tell you about my childhood's experience, but I am going to tell you an important day or you can say an important event of my life. The first day in college. Are you excited? So let's hear what happened with me on the first day of my college. Human life is eventful. Every day there are many events in our life, but all the events cannot make the days equally important and memorable. Only a few events deserve special attention and make the days memorable. My first day at college is an important event of my life. To me, it is an unforgettable day. During my school days, I had a glimpse of college life from my elder brothers and sisters. I was most curiously awaiting the day when I would start my college life. I thought the college life would offer me a free life. Your restrictions would be few and the homework given by the teachers would be little. At last, the long for the day came in. I entered the college premises with new hopes and aspirations. My heart leaped up in joy, thinking that the college life opened before me a new vision of life. I was thrilled at the beautiful sight of college campus. I came across many unknown faces. I felt lonely. At last, my loneliness ended when I found a newcomer like me. We too went to the notice board and took down the timetable. When the bell for the first period rang, we entered the room which was numbered as 22. There I found many students sitting on the benches. I took my seat. After a while, a well-dressed, handsome gentleman entered the room. He was a professor of English. After he began his lecture, I listened to him with rapt attention. Classes on the other subjects were also held. I enjoyed all the classes very much. Then it was lunchtime and after lunch, few more classes were there. As usual, after the lunch, the classes continued. At 2.30, me and my friend were waiting for the next lecture. Then we noticed few students entered the class. They just said the lecturer had some emergency, so he left for the day and they were actually there to take the interaction classes. It was the last period, so later we understood they were the seniors actually. I felt a little perturbed hearing they were seniors as I had heard stories from my cousins about ragging. I thought the same is going to happen with me. Then the seniors started asking each one their names, their hobbies, where they stay and all these questions. Then they set about a game. I was excited as well as nervous at the same time. The game was like we had to perform the experiment within 20 to 30 seconds. It was not even one minute. So the seniors would provide us the materials of the experiment. First thing was we had to pick up the chits which had numbers on it. According to the number, we had to unlock the box kept and the materials kept inside the box were the things for the experiment. If we are successful, then reward. But if we failed, punishment. I was a bit scared listening to the word punishment, but I took a long and a deep breath, forgot all my worries, just remembered the teachings of my parents and teachers. That we should never give up, but we should be strong and give our best shot. One by one, everyone started doing their experiment. When my turn came, I picked up the chit and number five was written on it. I unboxed and was amazed seeing the materials. 
as it was too easy experiment and can be done within 30 seconds as we had already done this experiment in school. Finally, I succeeded. Later, the lecturer entered and explained us that this particular activity was specially kept for interaction with the seniors and to make us feel comfortable and to build a good rapport with everyone. I would say this was the best ever activity done and we thoroughly enjoyed. If you want to know what were the materials inside my box and which experiment I did exactly, which completed very fast, stay tuned with me and let's get started. So the things required for this activity are a pair of scissors. Here I have taken a thermocol stand. If you don't have thermocol, you can just take any base. If you have a cup, you just fill that cup with uh, some sand and you can fix your uh, stick to that. So I was having this thermocol, so I have taken this. A small piece of chart paper. You can take any color chart paper. And here is a long stick I have taken. I was not having a long stick, so I have taken two small sticks and at the center I have just used a cello tape to stick it. A matchbox along with the sticks and a candle and a pencil. So our first step is we'll take this chart paper and you can actually do a free hand cutting but if you still feel that it would be difficult just try to make circles. Okay. We will start from the center. After I do, I'll just show it to you how you should go. It should be in a term of spirals. Like the jalebis. Just you have to start and just make it turn round and round and round and spirals. Okay, fine. I'll show you how it is done. Just see, this is a closure view. Then you have to use the scissors and start cutting. So our cutting is ready. Okay. So from here we we'll just cut it. We'll keep this aside. So our spiral is ready. You can now you can see our spiral is ready. So what we will do? We will take this candle and fix it here. Take this stick also and insert this here and we are going to take this spiral paper the center point we are going to put it at the stick level and we should see that the point of the stick should be at the center of the paper I'll show you after I do this complete I'll show you the complete setup okay So my complete setup is ready. 
but you can see that the background of my wall is white so i'll just change the white background to the black background and we'll show you the setup once again so now our setup is already ready so let's see what is happening just look at our paper how lovely it is looking and it is rotating on its own axis so now let us understand the science behind our activity as the molecules heat and move faster they are moving apart so air like most other substances expands when heated and contracts when cooled because there is more space between the molecules the air is less dense than the surrounding matter and the hot air floats upward hot air rises because gases expand as they heat up when air heats up and expands its density also decreases the warmer less dense air effectively floats on top of the colder denser air below it this creates a buoyant force that causes the warmer air to rise so as the paper is just above the air source it keeps on rotating and when you observe this it is just amazing if you enjoy this activity do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience through an experiment with everyone till then take care bye bye